In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the MetaQuest 3S. Or am I? Because I have had an absolute nightmare. Now we are going to go through all of the setup and stuff like that and we're going to show you exactly how it looks like inside the box. However, before I do that, let me just quickly show you a little clip from earlier today. So I've had an absolute disaster for this MetaQuest unboxing. Um, here it is. Yeah, it's already open. I couldn't do it on camera because um, my MetaQuest got delivered to a care home. Uh, this is the one. Just out here, yeah. To a care home by accident. UPS delivered it there. Um, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, and the person in the care home who received my uh, Quest 3S uh, had already opened it. So... It's not much of an unboxing, <laughs> I'll be honest. But here it is. Look at it in the box. They didn't. They haven't done anything. I don't think. I think it's going to be okay. They haven't seemed to have taken anything out of there. But honestly, what a nightmare. So I've had a bit of time to process what has just happened. Um, and essentially, I'm. Am I a bit upset? Yes because there's nothing better than the sort of unboxing experience in my opinion other than the actual using of the thing I mean there's a lot of things that are better than the unboxing let's be honest but the unboxing's a pretty nice part of getting something new uh, and I love VR headsets I'm a little bit cursed I think when it comes to unboxing VR headsets last year when the MetaQuest 3 came out uh, I had a whole issue regarding it just not turning up and then I had to go buy another one in order to do my review, my unboxing within a sensible time frame. And then as I was doing the unboxing, the original one actually turned up, which was very upsetting. Um, this time, I think it's arguably worse, because I'm not actually getting to do the unboxing, although I am getting it on the actual day I ordered it, which I didn't last time. I'm waffling. Let's have a look inside. Now, one of the things I really like about this design, other than the fact that I cannot break the seal because uh, a lovely old lady had already done that for me. Do you know what? I actually feel kind of bad because I feel like I've turned up at her house and she's received this lovely gift that she never thought she was going to get and I've just knocked on the door at her house and saying, yeah, sorry, love, that's for me. I called UPS and they just gave me her address and just said, yeah, sorry, we sent her there. It's, just, it's not good for everyone involved, um, but this old lady who had never thought of ever having a VR headset has um, thought she got given one and then suddenly I rock up out of the blue saying, Hello, love, that's mine. It did have my name on it and my address, uh, so I can't really get annoyed at myself. Let's open the box. So inside we get this sort of like thing just appear like, oh, it just explodes. That didn't happen on the other one. Uh, the other one you had to sort of lift the flap thing, but this is, it just sort of explodes into being open, um, which would have been really magical if I got to open it for the first time. Anyway, I'm not bitter. So we get all of our manuals and stuff like that. We get our controllers, which I've already taken the, and checked the batteries on. Uh, so we can take those out. Uh, and we get the headset itself. Look at this. It's an absolute beauty, actually. It basically is a Quest 2, but with a few additional extras. And we'll get onto that in a little bit when I'm sort of saying... Oh. We'll put this down to one side for now. So we've got our controllers. We have... Over here. See, she didn't really actually open it, so luckily she's done nothing to this headset, I don't think. I don't think she's tampered with it, hopefully. Um, however, uh, let's, let's have a look at this. So we've got our charging brick, which is our high-speed charging brick, which means um, you can use it to charge things really fast. Let's open this. And inside here we've got our USB-C charging cable, which we love. We've got our... How do we... We've got our glasses spacer, which we love. And I'm going to quickly go over the mechanism of the sort of face pad. And then we have our brick. Now, I'm trying to find positives in this. I guess it shows that, like, this is a proper genuine review because, obviously, I'm... Um, I'm buying the headset and therefore dealing with all of the ridiculous consequences of buying something. So, hopefully, hopefully you take this as a... As a bit of a win for you when you're watching this review as, oh, this guy actually is invested in this uh, in the worst possible way. I've just absolutely torn that a new one. Oh, well, there we go. And we got our charger brick and we can chuck that down. Our Quest Touch Plus or Quest Touch 2 controllers. Um, and these are almost identical to the Quest 3s. In fact, I think they are the same controllers from the qu normal Quest 3. And uh, they are lovely controllers, I've got to be honest. I'm really, I'm a, I'm a big fan of them. And they don't have the massive rings from the Quest 2, so if you're upgrading from the Quest 2, that is a um, 
definitely a massive plus. Uh, and they have these little push button door things, which I tried to show you earlier. Uh, and they are so much nicer than the Quest 2 controllers, I've got to say. Much nicer. There's a lot different from this, and there's a lot very similar, f especially from the Quest 2. I mean, this is essentially, form factor-wise, much more similar to the Quest 2 than the Quest 3. It actually is a bit heavier than the Quest 2, and a bit heavier than the Quest 3, and it comes out further. So, potentially, it will be the least comfortable of the three headsets, unless you're using a third-party strap. Um, but we do have this sort of newer Quest 3 type strap on it, which is okay. I'm not, I've never really been a massive fan of them, but they're all right, and they come off, and you can replace them, and I'm pretty sure that these um, straps are the same as the Quest 3 straps, which means if you have a Quest 3 strap somewhere, which I, I do, other than the fact that there is no headphone port, you should be able to get this thing on exactly the same. Yeah, look, so this is a Quest 3 strap, which I can get on, and it's got a place for the headphone port which we don't have on this model we'll get onto that i can get a i can get a quest 3 third party strap on that um with absolutely no issue so it won't fit your quest 2 straps it will fit your quest 3 straps and if you've got a quest 3 strap like me you probably actually won't be buying this unless you're looking at potentially downgrading and getting yourself a little bit of money back so that's an option um, one reason you might not want to downgrade though is because inside here we have um, our normal for now lenses Not the pancake lenses that you get on the quest 3. I am a massive fan of the pancake lenses In fact in my in my comparison video between the quest 3 and the quest 2 That was the thing at the time that was my biggest wow moment um, because at the time all the games that were available on the quest 3 were available on the quest 2 and um that there wasn't a huge difference now we actually have games that can only be played on the quest 3 which means if you want to play those games you need this or the other one so you could put up with finale lenses to get that upgrade i guess but let's take these off lovely fantastic um one thing about these finale lenses as well they're very similar to the quest 2 in the fact that they're these manual clicky ones which I didn't hate on the Quest 2 when I had the Quest 2, and then when I got the Quest 3, I loved the fact it was manual and you could get it precise. But this goes back to that sort of clicking motion, which isn't the best, but it's better than it's better than nothing, I'll be honest. And we are likely also to get a uh, bit of a lower field of view with this one. We also have a slight lower resolution than the Quest 3. We also have a smaller sweet spot. So in terms of Quest 3S to Quest 3, this is... A worse headset than the Quest 3 um, in pretty much most areas, I'm assuming. But I will do a comparison video. Subscribe for more. Good plug, Sam. Well done. Um, and in order to take off this facial interface, you just pull it. Do you? Clunky. This is, oh, there we go. In it goes. Um, one thing we don't have with this one is any form of adjustment. We have, like I said, the glasses spacer is back. So you cannot do an adjustment like you can on the Quest 3. But I'll be honest, the Quest 3 adjustment thing is the worst thing in the world. It's, it's, it's really naff. So the fact that they've gone back straight to this to save a bit of money, I think is probably based on feedback from what they had on the Quest 3. So you have glasses, you just click it on like that, and then you click it back into the headset like so. I am interested to see whether the Quest 3 one will actually fit. Do I have my Quest 3 one here? This is not the Quest 3 one, but this is one that is designed to fit a Quest 3. Um, and if I plug this one in here, oh, it's got... Yeah, so ones that fit the Quest 3 will not fit this. You're going to need a completely separate facial interface. So maybe it's back to the Quest 2 one. I mean, it doesn't even look like it, the Quest 2 one will fit it, I'll be honest. There we go. Let's pop this back on. Whole new design. Again, going back to the Quest 2, you get a much nicer pad. This is a pad much more similar to the Quest 3S. This is the one much similar to the Quest 3 one. The Quest 3S um, being much more like the Quest 2, except you've got some of these nicer upgrades like that horrible material on the Quest 2 that's gone and is gone forever, probably burning in some pit. Let's get this back set up properly. So here I am. And you can tighten the strap like so and get it nice and comfortable on your face. Um, now, first thing I'm noticing from putting it on is that you do get the sort of light leakage here. Um, that's pretty common on most headsets unless you have a particular thing to block it, uh, which I think you can only get a third party, so there we go. And what we're gonna do 
is we're going to switch to a slightly different camera because I'm going to need my phone. Um, so temporarily, we're going to switch to a very disgusting angle, and that's the angle down here. So very temporarily, we are now down here looking up this way. Um, I apologize for the terrible quality. Let's open our Meta Horizon app. We're going to add a device, pair a new headset. We're going to pair the Meta Quest 3S. Look at this. So what we're going to do, we're going to whip this bad boy on and we're going to switch on. As soon as I can record, I'm going to record. I've got a little power button under here as well. Volume buttons. Let's try and switch this on. Is it going to come on? Nothing at all. Oh no. Oh no. Is the power button on the side here? Yes. I was incorrect. Oh. There we go. IPD is fixed. We're powering up. I can. That's amazing. I'm already recording. So now you can see what I can see. Lovely. So I can see my hands. I've got the setup going here. Whoa! Magical. We're going to close next. We've got our two controllers. Nicely fully charged with our straps. I haven't put the straps on. Leave me alone. English UK because we speak proper Queen's English over here. Adjust the fit to get comfortable. The fit's fine. I've already done that, beating you to it. I haven't done the top. Did I do the top? Oh, yeah. The top's all right. We got it. We may need to adjust the lenses. Glasses, spacer, all that jazz. Connect your headset to Wi-Fi. Next, you'll need the controllers to enter your Wi-Fi details. Uh, oh, we're updating. Continue setup in the Meta Horizon app. Okie dokie. Off we go. MetaQuest 3 has found. Your headset is updating. You can explore the app while you wait. I've already explored the app. We've done that, but hey-ho. All right, so... Oh, very exciting. The one thing I've noticed immediately going from the Quest 3 to the Quest 3S is that sort of change in um, the lenses. So the Quest 3S has very, very, very fantastic pancake lenses. This one does not have those fantastic pancake lenses. It's got Fennel lenses, which are good Fennel lenses. I, w I won't be wrong with that. They're pretty good Fennel lenses, um, but... They are still for now lenses and they're limited in their capability. Another thing that is good is that the pass through is good enough that you can um, read writing in here. It's not as clear, and that's probably because I haven't sorted out the IPD properly. Adjust it, and if that makes any difference, 63 is probably not right for me. 60, I'm like 65 is my IPD. So I'm right in between th the middle one and the outside one, which is. Again, not ideal, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, this won't be my main headset, but yeah, something to bear in mind. If you're um and are in between this headset and the Quest 3, there are going to be a lot of things that you need to bear in mind um, that are upgrades when you go for the Quest 3. However, this headset, what is going to be fantastic is that it's cheap and it's powerful. That is going to be the main thing. So you can get into VR and play decent games with sort of entry-level VR money, which is fantastic. And honestly, I think the main thing that fascinates me about this entire um, development from Meta is that now VR has these levels to it so beforehand vr was only pc then you had the oculus and the original quest and suddenly it was like okay vr is becoming accessible now i mean you start having vr games and the the sort of market's been growing and now we're actually at the point where you have not just high-end pc gaming vr you have like a luxury standalone VR in the Quest 3 and then you have your sort of entry level with the Quest 3S and that's exciting to me because it suddenly just opens the door to VR for so many people and suddenly we're in this place now where it's ramping up. VR is going to become much more common, it's going to become much more accessible and it's just very very exciting especially if you love VR like me. The, the, I can give you my sort of expectations for it now and after I've reviewed it obviously I can confirm or deny these expectations. My expectations is, is this is going to be a pretty nifty little headset um, and if I'm going to want to play games I'm going to want to play games in my Quest, in my Quest 3. Of course I will. But this will be a very good in between. Press the power button to enable cameras and microphones. Bosh. Headsets. Add headset. Continue. Pick up where I was left off. Looking for your headset. Finish setup in the Meta Horizon mobile app. Lovely. So it's coming in here. Bam. Safety in mind. Continue. So I can read it, but it's obviously much easier to read it with my real eyes. Um, 
Okay, yeah, privacy, all that jazz. Share additional data to remove acid. Uh, share, yeah, we'll help them out. Enable hand and body tracking, love that. We're going to redeem our Batman Arkham Shadow. That's going to be coming out, I think, the 22nd. Time to put on your headset. Set up accessibility. So you can add accessibility settings. What are the accessibility settings? Vision, mobility, and hearing. So you can change the, up the contrast, color correction, mobility. Switch the meta menu buttons. Adjust height. Hearing. Mono audio, audio balance. It's all very exciting. Let's go back in. Welcome. Let's get started. Ah, oh, we've got a nice little visual of the Quest 3S up there. Let's start. Welcome. Let's... It's time to explore your new headset. Here are three tutorials that will prepare you for the incredible experiences that are up ahead. Select the first one to get started. Great. You've completed all three tutorials. You can always practice them again in the Help and Tips app in your app library. That's what we love. Bosh, next. Now you're ready to experience the magic of your headset and dive into incredible apps, games, and more. Cheers. This. Look at those lovely hearts. That's what we like, isn't it? To try experiences like these and more, open your universal menu. Just press the meta button. Here we are, and we're in. And this is very exciting. And you know what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna we're gonna make a video which is the first things you should do once you have your Quest 3S or Quest 3, because last time I did that video. Um, I, I feel a lot's changed since then, so we're going to change it. Shall we change some, our virtual home environment? Storybook, that's new. Oh, look, we're in storybook land. Let us... <laughs> hey, look how buff I look. Looks nothing like me, does it? So, I'm going to um, spend a bit of time using this over the next sort of few weeks, and hopefully I'll be able to give you a proper in-depth review um, relatively soon. I mean, my first impressions at the moment is that it is a fantastic entry-level VR headset, I think. It gives you all the features that you want, um, but it just misses um, a few quality-of-life things. It misses the headphone jack, although, I'll be honest with you, not something that I ever use, honestly. Um, I use headphones when I use my play my PlayStation VR 2, and that is probably only because uh, you need to wear headphones with it. <laughs> um, uh, but with the Quest, I'm quite happy with the, the sort of built-in audio. I don't think it needs to be anything greater. But if you do love wearing headphones, uh, you, you have to find a workaround that's some sort of like um, USB-C adapter or something like that because it doesn't work. And if you do that, you can't charge it. But there are some headphones that give you USB charging capability as well. It's a it's a whole minefield, and we'll get onto that in the review. But for what you get and for the money, you get pretty much everything you need to play every single game. Uh, but you don't have to pay as much as you do if you want to get a Quest 3. Now, the only... Um, the only thing about the Quest 3 now, um, which uh, if you have previously bought a Quest 3, is that you spent £500 on uh, the one, is it the 256 gigabyte model? Um, that's what I spent, two, about £500. Now that you have to spend about the same, but you get the 512 gigabyte model. So you do get a bit of an upgrade there um, or a bit of a price discount, depending on how you think. So that is another thing to bear in mind. But hopefully this has been helpful for you i'm going to spend a bit of time playing with it and testing it um and if you want to see all my videos about that please subscribe for more because i wasn't able to give you the dream unboxing that i was wishing for and honestly that old lady can burn in hell oh my word I... <laughs> no she was actually really lovely but she just opened my parcel even though it had my name on it and not just opened it saw it was a headset that she didn't order and then opened the box and the headset. I'm assuming she thought she got a gift or something or she had some sort of dementia. She probably had dementia. I feel I, feel, I actually feel bad. I don't know how to feel. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Whoop!